Hi Flo, I have your file in front of me and I received your question. Um, you're doing a great job so far, you really are. So this next part shouldn't be so hard. Um, I see that you wanted me to help you with the doors here and I'm just gonna do the right hand, the passenger side door area, okay? So what I did first was, you see where you actually stopped this black from showing right here on the floor boards? Well, I drew an overall path, and these are my paths, one through eight. This one just, and, and I'll show you if I make a selection of it, this one covers that whole area of the floor and the door. And why I did this area too is because it's all black. So it'd be easy to melt the two together. Now I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say here is just the typical way that we do painting, right? So what you have is you have um, a gray over on the right, versions of gray, and you have a black on the left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do black on the left on this bottom layer right here. And then on this upper layer, the next one up, I'm gonna do a medium gray. And then if you can see my paths that I, let me make this bigger. Look at the paths that I actually drew out here. See how I drew out of those shapes. We're just gonna pick and pull and I call, pick, I call that pick and pulling. We're gonna push light and dark to bring it out of gray and then we'll even use color range to get that texture here. But I'm not gonna finish the whole thing. I just want you to see how easy this could be. So I'm gonna make a selection of this and I made a small little version of your door. In other words, I clicked on this background copy to make this little bottom layer here so I could see what I was painting. Um, I'll turn it off and all I did was hit Command J if I was selected on that layer. And now you can see how I have this area, which I hit Control or Command T and I just made it smaller, right? So I could just move it over and have that area so I can paint it. Well, I've made two of them now, so I'll throw it away. But I'm gonna click on this bottom layer and I'm gonna make a selection of this big black area, okay? Now, if I grab this color, look, I'm just gonna click it, right? And then on this bottom layer, Option Delete. Now, if I deselect it, look at how I have the start of that area here. Now, all I have to do is start to pick and pull color out of it. Now, I'm gonna click to this layer here because the overall color that I see is like this gray right here. See that gray right there? So if I make the brush bigger and I paint on layer, the next layer up, and I'm just gonna freehand. So look at how I'm just gonna freehand that all the way over this section. But I'm not gonna go near where the um, uh, darkness is. So you see how I just kind of vignetted that in there? And now I can, again, pick and pull. Well, you know what? <laughs> I have to command Z back or control Z back because I didn't have the selection active. I deselected it. Yes, I could easily get rid of it, but I'm just going to command Z back a few times until it's gone. And that should be it right there. Let me turn this off. Okay, so um, I'm going to make a selection of my number one path again. Okay, so I can paint that same gray. I'm going to turn on the clicky copy, but I'm going to make sure that I'm on layer 100. And I'm just going to paint that gray. So I'm freehanding it, right? And then all I have to do is, again, pick and pull or push or whatever you wanna say to those colors, okay? So let's just start by just um, bringing a little bit more black back into this area, okay? Or darkness, so I'll click to the next layer up. Now I'm gonna grab this color and I'm just gonna paint that right through here a little darker, just like this, so I'm freehanding that. Now it's not gonna look very good, of course, so you can see how I'm just giving it the value that it needs in that area. Now, that's my basis of my color, right? And all I have to do is use the capability of the other selections that I have and figure out what I wanna do. So let me turn this on and click to the first one. Well, this first one, right here is going to be for the speaker area. And it's also going to highlight the other area. So let me um, control click it or command click it and command H it. Okay, so I'm only gonna work on this bottom area right here. So now if I come in here and I turn off the clicky copy, I can pretty much, um, I, I wanna get all of this on screen. So I can pretty much just come in, let me see where I am painting. And now look at how if I come across this with this black right there, 
whoops, I want to um, inverse this selection. So I'm painting on the outside. So com Command Shift I or Control Shift I, and I'm going to hit Command H, and I'm going to show you that I'm going to paint on the outside of that selection. So this is no big deal, right? You're seeing how I'm bringing off that dark value right there, right? Okay, so all I did was start painting. Now, <clears throat> obviously, I just got some on the seat, so I can... Um, fix that in a few minutes just by putting a, um, I, I should have used your seat selection and um, uh, I'm going to con control Z back because I forgot to do something because I'm painting so fast here. So let me just, okay, it's gone. All right. So I'm going to show you the selection again. All right. And I'm going to um, subtract out this one. So I'm going to go control option and subtract that out. Whoops. Um, that was not good. Let me make a selection of that again. Um, let me, um, I, I didn't draw everything obviously that I need. So I'm just going to continue and do exactly what I just did. And then I'll clean it up in a few minutes. Okay. So it's not a big deal to clean up. In fact, I'll show you how I'm going to clean that up in a second. So all I'm going to do here is Add that value right there, okay? And it's good that you see that I struggle sometimes because that's what life is, right? Now I'm going to paint across the seat here because I don't care how much I get on the seat and I'll show you in a second I'll fix it. So now we're starting to bring off that speaker area. So what I'm going to do is turn off the clicky copy, right? Make a selection of um, this big space here, right? Inverse it. Um, I forgot to add the layer mask. So I'm going to do it all over again. Okay, so with me on the layer mask, I am going to make a selection of that right here. I'm going to inverse it, which is Control or Command Shift I. Now I'm going to paint right on um, the layer mask here and clean up the seat area. So that's what I'm going to do every single time. And now you can see as I'm painting, how I'm actually gathering that. So now let's just, um, I want you to see how I paint this diffusion. You see this shade, this light value that's underneath the speaker? Well, I drew that out. It's right there. So what I'm going to do is use my Gaussian Blur. I'll click to layer 102 and let's now make that happen. So I'm going to take the B key and grab this light color, make it slightly lighter, so I'm just going to work sections in. That's basically what I want to tell you. I'm going to work sections in. Then I'm going to use layer masks and Gaussian Blur to fuzz everything, right? Okay, so if I make a selection of that, right, nope, it's this one right here, and I hit Command-H, I'm going to turn this off, which is the, um, which is the um, clicky copy, so you can see what I'm doing there. And I have a little cleanup right there to do, okay? Now, looking at this bottom piece, oh, it's way far away. Okay, I'm going to deselect everything, click up to layer 105, hit the V key, and I'm going to move this up and over so I can see what it is I'm supposed to see. There, you see that little example of what I actually want to end up with? Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is gauge and blur it, and I'm trying to get a lot done on this. So let's just gauge and blur this. Um, sorry. I needed to click back to this layer, which is this layer. So Brian is, um, he. I think he's been off too long for this COVID-19 thing. Anyway, let's go to filter, blur, gauge and blur on that. And now we're gauge and blurring this shape. That's almost perfect. So 16 pixels was just about perfect, right? Right. So now if I click to um, and make a layer mask, right, flow, and hit the B key, you can see how I can minimize that right through here. And now that and that look very much the way they should. I can actually lighten a little bit more right there later. But now, let me make a selection of the speaker area. Now, I'll, I'll click, I'm going to have a lot of layers here, Flow. So now I need to turn on the clicky copy and you can see how that speaker area is very much darker. So let me up it like this and now let's up the dark. Now let's paint inside that so I can now make that darkness happen right there. Let's hit Command H, turn off the clicky copy, and you can see how I'm making that speaker work real nice. Now there's the speaker area. 
that I'm now going to go get the texture on. So I'll put in another layer. I'll even call it flow. I'm going to call this texture. And now here's how I get the texture. I click to the background copy, right? I make a selection of that area right here. I'm going to get close on it. With me selected on that area, I'm going to go to color range. Now let's go grab this color right here. So I'm going to grab that color right there. Now, that's just about perfect, about 80 right there. Now, I should save that selection. I'll just save it as number one, just so I know what I'm talking about here. Hit Command H, turn off the clicky copy here, and now click to my next layer called Texture and start to paint the texture in. Now, there is the start of the texture um, of, and it looks great. I just need to do the dark texture now. Now let me lighten up on that texture just a little bit. And let's, um, cause see how it's a little bit lighter right here on the top. So I'm going to make my brush smaller, turn off the clicky copy. And I want to bring that out a little bit on the top. Now what I need to do here is bring out the dark, right? So click to your background copy, clicky copy, turn it on so you can see it. Find your layer, your path over here and select it. Okay, now let's go grab this dark value right there. Okay, flow. So let's go color range. Let's um, grab that dark right there. And okay, that's cool. Um, let's make that a little bit smaller. There it is right there. Good. Hit. Um, I'll save that selection so I don't lose it. And then I'm going to hit command or control H. And now let's grab the black that's right there, turn this off, and you can see that that's my texture right there. So I'm going to now put another layer in here and call it dark texture. And save your file. Now let's paint the dark texture. So see how I'm actually now painting, and now there is your speaker. So there is a really decent job of the speaker, and now I need to bring off other areas. Now that's what I wanted to show you. Let me turn off that little um, example thing here. So you see when I click this back and forth how I'm really starting to get all of that in there. Now I don't know why. I don't know why I stopped that right there. Why did I do that? What did I do there? I don't know why that stopped. At my mistake, I should have had it going all the way back there and not quite sure why I didn't have it. I was just doing it too fast. Let me go to my channels. Oh, I don't want to take the time to do this. And let's go down here and see that selection. Oh, somehow it didn't go up higher than that. Um, but anyway, I think you get the idea, okay? And I'm going to see why that didn't do that. So I'm going to make a selection of this. I'm going to go back to color range. So I want to go see why that didn't go all the way up that way. So let's go to color range. Make sure that I've got that value right there. Well, that got it. That definitely got the whole thing. I'm not sure exactly why that didn't get that. So let me, um, I'm going to repaint that lighter area. I'm so sorry, but hey, you know, nothing is perfect, right, Flo? You have to continue to do things until they work out. So these were the texture layers that I had. I just turned them off. I'm going to actually put a new layer, a couple layers in there, and I'm going to do the light one first, and that should have gone way back there like this. So that, now I fixed my error. There's my error. You can see I fixed my error there. And what I want to do now is um, go see in channels if I got the dark one. So here's the dark one. Whoops. Let me um, click up to the copy here. No, I don't know why it stopped right there. It's something that was weird. It was just plain all weird. So let me go back to here. Let me turn this on. Let me make a selection of this. Okay, everything's cool. Let's go back to color range. Let's now go grab this nice dark that's right here. Um, and now I've got it going all the way up there. I have no idea why that didn't do that.
Anyway, um, I probably was just going too fast. Let me hit Command H. I'm not even going to save that selection flow. I'll click to this layer. This was the bottom layer. Perfect. This was the top layer. This should be dark texture. This should be light texture. Now let's paint the dark texture. Okay, that's beautiful. Now, there is your speaker. That's the start of that, right? Right. Now you can see how I can even click to, I'm going to throw away these two layers. This one and this one, I'm throwing those away. I should rename them, but I'm not going to. Now, the next thing. See how I have, I'm going to zoom in because I want to go slower. You see how I have these paths that I've drawn that break up the different areas? Here, I'll, I'll turn them into selections so you can see them. There's those two. There's that big one, which is the one I want to work on right now. So I'll grab this one right here. And you can see it's pretty much um, a, a light value that actually goes all the way through here and needs to be Gaussian blurred. So I'm going to click this. Um, I'll hit Command or Control H. I'll paint the light value in here just like this and then come that way with it. And then I need to Gaussian blur it. And then I need to add a layer mask to actually get rid of it. So let's just lighten up a little bit right through here. So let me come into a little bit more light value. Let me turn on the clicky copy, which I did, and I'm just going to grab a little bit more light value just like this. Now look how nice that's looking. Okay, and now you can see how I'm actually starting to arrive at that. So what is the difference here now? I need to gauge and blur that and get rid of the hard edge. So let me deselect. It's definitely selected. Okay, now let's go to Gaussian Blur, not 16 pixels. That Oh, that actually looks good. Um, but let's go a little bit less than that right there. Now, look how nice that looks. Look at how we're starting to arrive at that. Now, let me see if I have one for the nice heavy dark that's right here, and I'll make another layer. I should be naming these flow. I'm horrible. But let's go see that area. Okay. Do you see this one right there? That one I can actually reverse out. I think I actually drew that. Um, I kind of did. I'm going to make a selection of this one. You see it? And then I'm going to move that selection up. See how I'm just grabbing the selection and moving it right to there? Now, on this layer, let's only worry about the darkness. So let me turn this off. Let me hit Command or Control H. Let's grab the nice heavy black and let's paint the black in here. Good. Now, I only want to paint it right there, right? It's way too harsh, right? Right? It's way too harsh. So that layer, look at that layer that I'm now clicking on. Let's gauge and blur that. So let's gauge and blur that by, ooh, that's perfect, about 10 pixels. Now, you can tell just how gorgeous this is turning out. And all I did was paint a huge black area and a gray area, and now I'm working them out together. And that should give you a really good idea on how to do this. Now, we should actually do this inside area. The inside area was right there, so let me command click it. So now all I have to do is bring this color off. First, it's a lot of dark, so let me make sure I fill it with that amount of dark. Okay, so let's just option delete and fill that. Let's go to another layer. Now, look at how I filled that up with that amount of darkness, okay? Now, um, I'm going to come back in to that one, all right? I'm going to come back, whoops. I'm going to come back into that one after I hit Command H. Leave the clicky copy on and paint on this new layer. So I need to grab this light value. Just simply paint the light value with a big brush right like this. Just a little bit right here and a little bit coming down like this. And then we'll put this highlight edge on. There. See how nice that looks? A little bit bigger. Okay, beautiful. And now... Flow, let's put that highlight on. Now, how I did the highlight, let's put another layer in there because we, the uh, smaller the shape, the higher the layer, and definitely we actually have another layer. Now, I'm going to do this one the way that I showed everybody to do it, and then I'm going to be done. Then you have to tell me if I'm done enough. So, do you see that, that light value? You see that right there? Now, all I have to do is take this one. Do you see how I actually moved the same path down for here. So I have the same path there. I duplicated the path for this one. See, I duplicated seven, named it number eight. And you can see now if I make a, it's, and I moved it down. So all I have to do is make a selection of number seven and go 
Alt, um, Control Alt or Command Option subtracted. Now do you see this neat little value that I have right in here? Let's grab that color, make it brighter, hit Command or Control H, and now to paint the detail, smaller brush, I'm on a brand new layer and you can see how I can put this little highlight in there. Now that little highlight needs to be Gaussian blurred. So let's just take that and Gaussian blur by like two pixels. So uh, I hope that's giving you a pretty good feel of how I want to do this. Then I want to actually bring more black around that edge, but I'm not, you obviously can do that if you want to. I could do that right now if I put another layer in here and then I'll Gaussian blur the other one. I know this, I could just continue to paint. This is fun actually. So I need this one. And I need to actually pick this up a little bit. Let me actually pick this up. All right, I need to hold, um, get the M key, and I want to move this up and a little bit over like this. Okay, now let me hit Command or Control H, um, turn this on. Let's um, grab the dark value right here, and now. I'm going to paint this dark value by bringing it around like this. So you can see how I'm just bringing that nice dark value around and how beautiful that is. And now there is the speaker, there's that part, and you can see that I've actually drawn a lot of these shapes. Look, Flo, there's a lot of them here. There's this one there. There's a bunch here. I'll make a selection of those. You can see how it's just working smaller colors and the important thing to tell you was that I actually surrounded it with these, with the big black and the gray. And then it's just, and this is what I call picking and pulling and pushing. So there is a good rendition of the door. You know, I did it quickly and I ran into errors, which I'm not going to redo. I did tell you I was going to gauge and blur that and it bothers me that I didn't. So that was that layer right no, it was layer right there. Okay, so that layer, um, number 112, which I should put in uh, the right name for, but I'm not going to. Um, let's put that to just like two pixels on the Gaussian blur. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Let's go to there, right, beautiful. Now, that area looks good. And there's the original, and there's what I did. So, hopefully that helped. Let me know.